Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Itoro, aka ICU Flam, and we are back. Want us to share a couple things that I've been loving and liking and using these past couple months that I've been going. Yes, we're gonna ignore the big elephant in the room, but yes, we are back. And I honestly just love watching these kinds of videos on YouTube. They're like an OG on YouTube, like I've watched them for years, and I just thought like if I still like them, that means somebody else does. So we are gonna get into some things that I've been using and loving. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Subscribing to my channel really helps your girl out, and although I've been gone, we have been growing so thank you to everyone who has joined and if you're not new here welcome back yes we got a new video yes but without further ado tell your mother your father your baby sister tell your cousin tell everybody to pull up because we finna get it cooking all right let's roll <laughs> Alright guys, so let's get into these faves. So first up, we have the Kosa Sport Chemistry Deodorant. Now this is an AHA blend serum deodorant. What really drew me to this was honestly the AHA blend. I was doing some research because I've really just been on the hunt for new deodorants and I wanted a deodorant that was multi-active. So something that acts as a deodorant and antiperspirant and kind of like helps my underarm skin, right? We're trying to get like really flawless, smooth, bright underarm skin. It's a blend of AHA, so it's like a liquid deodorant that comes off in a roll-on ball and you just roll it on. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, from the first day that I started using this, it worked and I've been crazy working out. I work out every single day. I use this when I work out. I use this when I'm going to work. I use it when I'm active, non-active and it works. So this is definitely a must try if you're in the market for something new, something fresh, something that will work multiple ways for your skin. Definitely try this one out. Next on moving into skin. Now skincare is really touchy for me because I am truly dedicated to my esthetician. So 95% of my routine when it comes to my skincare comes from a personally developed skincare routine that I have developed with my esthetician who I see monthly but I do still venture out because I am a product junkie at heart and if the girls are gonna try something I, I want to try it too within reason I actually have tried out this Laneige water bank moisture cream and it's so small because I tried this out as I think it was part of my Sephora birthday gift and this was one of the products in there and I just wanted to show you guys it is completely empty I use this whole thing up because I really truly did enjoy it. My skin enjoyed it, my skin drank it up, I had no negative reactions, no bumps, breakouts, rashes, hives. I will generally say that my skin for the most part is not sensitive. I can really, I really rarely have breakouts from products, but I love, love, love this stuff so much that I will be repurchasing this. It comes in like this thick kind of white cream and it just glides on your skin. It doesn't feel too heavy, but your skin doesn't feel dry. I believe it's fragrance free. No, it's not fragrance free, but it has a very light fragrance that won't irritate you throughout the day. So yeah, definitely give this one a try. Next up, we're moving on to smell good. Now y'all know if you've watched my like perfume collection video, which I dropped a little bit of a while ago, I need to do an update because my collection has really changed. I want to share two perfumes that I had been living for. So the first one I'm going to show you, I really feel like is it in gem. Like if you know, you know, but if you don't know, now you know. The Zara Red Temptation perfume. <sighs> I'm going to put the notes somewhere on the screen because the last time I did a perfume video and I didn't put the notes, y'all came for me. Some of y'all came for me. Not everybody, but some of y'all came for me. Now this is right up my alley so if you have the same perfume palette as me you don't like your scents too florally you don't like them too sweet too girly you'd like to have a little masculine umph a little oud a little musk a little spice a little oriental flavor red temptation by zara is for you now i got this last year around the time i came back from colorado yes i remember if you watch my colorado vlog I got this right when i came back and look at this i think this is the quickest i've ever emptied a full bottle of perfume october to april i'm at my last drops but of course i loved it so much zara released it with their spring summer collection and your girl got a new box it retails for 25.90 and for a perfume that has such great staying power you really really cannot beat it next up on perfumes it is a scent that i actually got gifted for my birthday and it is the delina exclusive now just take a look at the bottle alone the bottle sold me on its own but the scent itself really sold the deal like and this is like for the girls who are in between. So you still want to keep that soft girly scent, but you want a little bit of like twist. 
this is it. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think there are some vanilla notes. I can't even really tell you, but I will put the notes on the screen for anyone who is interested. This is definitely a bit more high-end, a little bit more luxury. Well, a lot bit more luxury than the Zara, but the two of them have been my faves. Still in the category of beauty, if you saw my travel prep vlog video that I did, dang, I did a couple videos. If you saw that video, then you might already be introduced to this. It is my eyelash extensions. These I get from my local beauty supply store and they allow me to do my own at-home eyelash extensions. They come in these little clusters of three. And you see, they're not little individuals. They're mini clumps, you kind of call them. And you use a special individual eyelash adhesive and you pop them on and you're good to go. I'm wearing them right now. I've been wearing them for the past couple, I want to say since my birthday. My birthday was the last time I got eyelash extensions at a professional. I probably get one to two fall off each day. I just pop on my bag on and I go. And the pack itself costs about six, seven dollars. The glue itself is about five. You can't beat it with a stick and it looks gorgeous. Like I've really strayed away from the long, bulky eyelash look. Like I kind of really love my eyelashes being more natural, more dainty, more fluffy, more realistic. Like it's totally my vibe. So these really allow me to do that for like a fraction of the price. If you have these at your local beauty supply store, and I think they also sell them online on Amazon. If you can get your hands on them, definitely do it. You will not regret it. I'm gonna share a candle that I have been loving. Now, this candle right here is so different for me, okay? I'm gonna introduce it. It is the Bath & Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake Three Wick Candle. This candle, like I, I haven't even opened it yet and I can smell it through the packaging like, oh, it smells so good and I generally hate like vanilla-y scents in the house. Like I don't want my room to smell like vanilla. I don't really want the kitchen to smell like vanilla. Like I like more clean, more citrus, more vibrant, fresh scents or even masculine scents at home. This is so much out of my bag, but this is so much my bag. The pink packaging, the scent, and it burns so well. I think this is the strongest Bath & Body Works candle I've owned. Like, this candle will burn and fill up a large room. It burns so well. The, the wax is a sweet pink color. Like, everything about it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And I will be repurchasing and repurchasing and repurchasing. So I pray Bath & Body Works never lets this go because this scent is so sweet and fun. If you love vanillas, you love creams, you love cakey scents, this is totally for you. And even if you don't and you want to try something new outside of your usual palette, definitely give this a try. So next up we have a little bit of food and drink. So we've been in quarantine and your girl's been dibbling dabbling. And I think these chips I may have shown you guys in a video before when we first started quarantine. My vegan Rob's Dragon Puffs have been my jump off. Now I can't even take the credit for these because a coworker of mine, a dear coworker of mine, put me onto these. But once I got into them, I honestly have not stopped. They are vegan and they are kind of just like, if you like hot Cheetos and all of that, hot Funyuns and things, you will love these. They're like a spicy take on a puffy cheese doodle. They're so good. They're vegan, health friendly, health conscious. And you know, we're all trying to be skinny. We're all trying to be slim. So these are so, 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 so good. I will say they're a little bit tricky to find. I normally purchase mine at any of my local health food shops. So if you have any health food stores around you, definitely look there first. If not, you can always go online to the Vegan Rob website, type in a store locator, get the store closest to you, get a bag, get two, because I promise you, you're gonna love them, and go from there. And last but not least, I saved this one for last but not least because I don't want anybody saying that I'm biased for this one, okay? I'm gonna share with you a drink that I have particularly been enjoying. It is the Chloe Prosecco. Now I don't love this because it's by Chloe. Like honestly, Chloe, Chloe, like there's no bias here. But truly, truly, I love this Prosecco. If you love a fresh, crisp Prosecco, the Chloe Prosecco is for you. I mean, if you love Prosecco in general, the Chloe Prosecco is for you. Because one thing I'll tell you is I never met a Chloe that I didn't love. This Prosecco mix is great. If you like a little Prosecco mimosa, you want to put a little bit of orange juice, a little bit of cranberry juice, and just have it as a brunch refresher. Um, but it also just works well whenever you want a little bit of Prosecco. And 
then when don't you want a little bit of Prosecco? I promise you, you'll like this one. So that wraps up all of my current faves. Hopefully you guys saw something new, something that you wanna try out, something that you maybe never thought about trying out before. I hope I've inspired you to try something new. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.